Hey guys, imagine a motherboard that has all of its ports on the back. No more clutter or tricky positions, just a smooth and neat appearance for your PC. Sounds great, doesn't it? That's exactly what Asus is offering with their latest Tough Gaming Z790 BTF motherboard. This innovative design features all ports on the reverse side and introduces a new GPU power connector. But the big question remains, how does it perform? Is it versatile enough for various builds and can it truly justify its price point? Join us in this video as we explore these questions and offer our insights on this rather unique piece of hardware. So stick around and let's begin. When you first take it out of the box, you'll notice it's cushioned with extra foam. This is to prevent any damage to the connectors at the back when placing the motherboard on a flat surface. We'll delve deeper into those connectors in a bit. Now let's unpack what comes with this motherboard. Since this is a Z790 series board, it supports the latest 14th gen Intel CPUs and is still compatible with the 12th and 30th gen as well. For those who like to push the limits, it also has a bit of headroom for the overclocking. On the front, there's a single fan header designed for the CPU cooler. To the right, you'll find the four DDR5 memory slots and below there are three PCIe slots. The top one supporting PCIe Gen 5x16, the middle one is PCIe Gen 4x4 and the bottom one also PCIe Gen 4x16 slot, but this one is only wide for four lanes. Beneath the heat sinks, you'll find four M.2 slots. The top one connects directly to the CPU while the others link through the chipset. All four are PCIe Gen 4 slots, with the last one also supporting SATA mode. To the right of the PCIe slot, we now have the updated key release button. This time it's a lever for the top PCIe slot. It offers a satisfying click and feels incredibly sturdy when used. Right underneath is the big reason why somebody might want to go with this particular motherboard and it's called the GC HPWR Power Output Slot. Super friendly name, I know. This is Asus' take on a PC high power connector for the graphics card, which match the golden finger on a GPU and provide up to 600 watts of power for the card without any unsightly cables on the front of it. I am a fan of this clean look. It's like a cherry on top for your setup. Just pop in the compatible card and voila, you're ready to go. The catch? It's fresh on the scene and is exclusive to Asus, so both GPU and motherboard might pinch your wallet a bit until others catch up. What's your take on this innovation? Let us know in the comments below. On the underside, all the main connectors are right where you would expect them to be. It's the simplest approach that avoids any unnecessary headaches. Flip the board, plug it in and you're all set. But there's another reason for this. Most cases tend to follow a standard cable length, so keeping connectors close to their usual spots means fewer compatibility hiccups. The thing that sticks out to me is the power connectors on the left. These are for that special GPU power port, and here you have two choices. You can either use the new 16-pin high power connector or three standard 8-pin connectors. Asus has a warning not to connect both at the same time. Also, this motherboard does not support 8-16-pin adapters, so be careful here. Overall, the heart of this board's appeal is a special power setup for the GPU and cables on the back, which brings us to the two problems with the back-to-front motherboards, price and compatibility. Sure, there are a growing number of cases out there that are ready to embrace this back-to-front motherboard design, and we actually have a few of them in the project pipeline to review, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. The problem here is not the lack of support, but rather the absence of a standard. This means that case makers have to double down on their efforts to accommodate more boards, leading to more holes in cases and potentially rigidity issues. So we'll make sure to be checking that out in the upcoming videos. Now over to the second problem, price. It starts with the manufacturing process. This motherboard doesn't just feature the same connectors on the back like most standard boards, so it's not just a straightforward comparison. Even if it were, the process of installing components on one side, then flipping over to install the rest, would require a separate assembly line, adding extra layers of complexity that inevitably bumps up the price. Plus the additional connectors for the power and the extra high power traces running through the motherboard add to the cost. A quick search reveals that a similar tough gaming board can be found for about $90 less. And for almost the same price, you can actually go up a tier and end up with a ROG Strix motherboard. Which leads us well to the conclusion. For the time being, this new style of motherboard is squarely targeted for the high-end market, catering for those who are willing to pay a premium for cleaner setup with fewer visible cables. As the market evolves, it does complicate things a bit, since you'll need to also consider cases that accommodate rear connections. However, once the industry matures and hopefully standardizes, we could see a shift. Having all cables at the back could simplify installation and if companies do actually agree on the standard, prices should drop. 
What are your thoughts on this? How soon do you think this will become a standard, if ever? Would love to hear your perspective. Leave the comments in the section down below. Thanks for watching. If you think this mobile might be what you need, check out the link in the description for more details. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.